Welcome to the web tutorial, Applying for NHATS Restricted Data. In this tutorial, you will learn how to apply for NHATS Restricted Data available in partnership with the Michigan Center for the Demography of Aging, or MICTA. Note that NHATS CMS linked files require a separate application process. Instructions on how to apply for NHATS CMS files are available through the NHATS website. The MICTA Virtual Data Enclave provides remote access to the NHATS Restricted Data Repository through a virtual desktop infrastructure. Data remain on the MICTA Enclave servers and are accessed and analyzed by approved users virtually via an encrypted connection. Login to the Enclave requires two-factor authentication. Data files cannot enter or be removed from the NHATS repository by the researcher. Output and programs are reviewed for disclosure risk by the repository director or their designee prior to removal. For more information on minimizing disclosure risks and vetting requirements, see Minimizing Disclosure Risks When Using the NHATS Restricted Data Files in the MICTA Enclave on the NHATS website. Users agree to access data only from locations specified in the MICTA Data Security Plan form. Users agree not to transcribe results as specified in MICTA's Secure Data Enclave Acceptable Use Policy and not to attempt to identify subjects as specified in the ISR Pledge of Confidentiality. Restricted files available through the MICTA Enclave include, for example, NHATS and NSOC Geographic and Distance files, NHATS Restricted Tracker files, the 1940 Census Linkage files, open text about how COVID affected the SP's life, and NHATS Restricted Genetics files. For a complete listing, see the online application. This video focuses on applying for all files in the repository except the NHATS Restricted Genetics files, which requires a separate application process. To be eligible for NHATS Restricted data, the requester must have a PhD or MD degree and hold a faculty or research position at a university, research institution, or U.S. government agency. Students and postdoctoral fellows need a faculty member to sponsor their application by serving as the requesting investigator. Each application must state specific research aims and work scope to be performed. The NHATS Restricted Data Repository does not accept umbrella applications for networks, centers, or other coordinating efforts. Let's take a look at the Restricted Data application on the website. To access the Restricted Data application, navigate to the NHATS Researcher website and click on the Data Access button. Scroll down and click the Restricted Files button. This will lead you to the Restricted File page, which shows the application process for both NHATS and CMS data files. To obtain the Restricted NHATS files, the focus of this tutorial, click Restricted NHATS Files. Then click the embedded link Obtaining National Health and Aging Trends Study Restricted Data from the NHATS Restricted Data Repository, which will open up a PDF of the application. Please read through the information about the forms on pages 1 through 9, then scroll to page 10 to see the documentation list. The following forms must be submitted to apply for access to NHATS restricted data. First, the investigator form. The investigator form requires the investigator's information and the information about the applicant's institution. Next, complete the restricted data repository research plan form. This form asks for the project title in a 250 word abstract as well as a short two to three page research plan as described in the PDF. As noted below the abstract box on the form, each applicant must also submit the CV or bio sketch for the investigator and co-investigators, a copy of an award letter documenting research funds and the source of these funds, and a copy of IRB approval at the full or expedited level. Next, complete the restricted data repository file request form. Requesters should check off all files that are being requested. To access additional folders through the MICTA Geographic Linkages Repository, or GLR, requesters must justify these files in their research plan. By requesting to use data deposited with GLR, users are agreeing to cite any GLR data sources used in their publications and presentations. For any additional external files the user plans to bring into the Enclave, requesters need to describe the files in the Restricted Data Repository External File Request Form. 
This form asks the researchers to provide the source, as well as a brief description of contents in the file and the level of geography they will use to link, examples including state, county, tract, and zip code. Next, complete the Restricted Data Repository Data Use Agreement, which is to be read and signed by the investigator and co-investigators, if applicable, and by a representative of the investigator's institution. If applicable, the researcher should fill out the Restricted Data Repository Supplemental Agreement with Research Staff form for any research staff members or students who will be accessing the data. This form should be signed by both the staff member or student and the investigator. If applicable, there are also forms for extending access to the restricted data and for receiving access for collaborating investigators at other institutions. Requesters also need to provide a list of users requesting MICTA data enclave access. In addition to the request forms, each user will need to read and sign the Acceptable Use Policy, or AUP, and the Pledge to Safeguard Respondent Confidentiality. Each user must also complete a data security plan for each location where they plan to access the restricted data. Most users opt to fill out one data security plan for their office and another for home. All forms should then be submitted electronically to NHATS Restricted Data at umich.edu using the subject heading Restricted Data Application Requesting Investigator's Name. Each application will be reviewed by NHATS staff. Following notice of approval, a countersigned DUA will be provided and access will be granted to the MICTA Virtual Data Enclave. This tutorial was produced by Min Yahoo, Sarah Patterson, Maureen Skian and Vicki Friedman with funding from the National Institute on Aging. This ends the Applying for Restricted Data web tutorial. Comments and questions may be sent to nhatsdata at westat.com.